There's no denying the British economy is in a tough place at the moment, and for many small business owners, the changes to the low emission zone at the beginning of the year, which state that diesel vans must be no older than 10 years to be inside London, has come as a further blow. The government gave an ultimatum, either install an expensive particulate filter system which could cost up to £2,000, buy a new van or spend £100 every day you drive in London. For many small businesses this means buying, repairing or leasing a van or face going out of business. For those deciding to purchase there are many ways you can go about getting an affordable deal. Unless you can afford not to, your best bet is to look for a second hand van. Expect to put aside a day or two for bargain hunting. Start with the Auto Trader website, comparison sites and other classified sites such as Gumtree. Magazines such as Wattvan can be really helpful when finding what you need. Car auctions are another great place to secure a bargain. You'll get to see about 120 vehicles at a time, which cuts out a lot of time that would have been wasted walking around dealerships. At an auction, you can get cars up to 20% cheaper when bought with cash. Personally, I bought my van from eBay and got a great deal, but be sure to check out the vehicle first, as you don't want to end up with a dud vehicle or worse, caught in a scam. For my van, I checked it out and made sure it was in pretty good condition, not too battered and bruised. Nobody wants an old banger representing their company, but to be honest, you're not going to get a showroom condition model either. In terms of mileage, any more than about 60,000 on the clock and you wouldn't want to purchase it, as it's unlikely to last for very long without major repair. Always test drive the van, as this will give a fair indication of the condition of the clutch, gearbox and brakes. Replacing any one of these can cost up to £1,000 and that's an expense you can do without. Whilst you're at it, leave the engine running and just test the exhaust. You can do this simply by placing a damp cloth over the end and seeing if there are any leaks. But be careful not to burn yourself. If cars aren't your thing, you could always ask a mechanic to give the potential purchase a once over. It'll cost you around 60 quid, but could save you thousands in the long run. Happy hunting, and just remember that there is a silver lining to the government's plans. In June 2012, it was announced that three pence per litre hike in fuel duty has been scrapped. So although it might cost you money now for a new van, you'll be saving cash on diesel soon.